Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Sales Person. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the Summer 25 top new feature for the admin. So still you are struggling the new feature regarding this release. So you can watch this video or also you can watch my another video regarding the flow in Summer 25. Okay, so let's get started without any further delay. I will post the, you know, this Summer 25 pre-release org in the comment section if you want. So please do let me know in the comment section. Do you want the link of this org? So I will mention it. Don't worry. So let me show you the first feature is like summer 25 release notes. So here you can see the key dates for the summer 25. So pre sign up org is a 17th. It's already there. So you can find out this link and you can sign up this org. So these all information is available here in this slide. You can pause the video and read these all things. Okay. So this is the first one you have to do before starting Summer 25 new feature. Okay, so now let's see the next feature is like Summer 25 pre-release or once you click on that particular link, I will provide you in the comment section so you can check out that link. After clicking that link, you will be see this you know interface and you can sign up this Summer 25 pre-release or and you can get the all new feature in your org. Okay. So next feature is dynamic related list for the mobile. So it's still in beta. Previously, it was not available directly. So you can, you know, leverage this feature or you can enable it based on your mobile devices. Okay. And you can see this uh, dynamic related list in your mobile devices. So let's see in the action. So I just logged in my org. Here you can see. You have to do one thing. Just before enabling this feature, you have to search in the quick find like Salesforce mobile. Once you search, just click on this mobile app, Telsco mobile app, and here you will be see lots of options, right? So you have to do one thing, just you have to enable this, you know, feature. So this is the feature here, right? So this is the feature, you have to enable it, this one, like this. It's a toggle one, you can enable or disable. And here clearly mention, like dynamic related list for the mobile beta. And once you enable it, let's say, let me enable it, and open any record page of the you know record of the object so here let's say account and click on the account same thing you will be seeing the mobile devices as well don't worry so you can open any record as you have here like this let me click on this gear icon edit this page and uh, it's open the lightning a builder page in this page you can see here dynamic related list single and immediately you can see the small icon it means you can use this feature in your you know desktop devices laptop devices or as well as you know mobile devices you can see previously it was not there directly you can just differentiate between that and you can drag and drop anywhere you want okay so this is the new features let's see the next feature is salesforce personalized trust beta is live okay previously it was available like status.salesforce.com or trust.salesforce.com if you want to check the instance health right so you can you know see the instance maintenance and due date everything based on your instance so how we can see that i will show you this is the new feature you have to leverage this feature instead of you know uh, status.salesforce.com so dot trust.salesforce.com once you search it right you will be see this uh, ui and here somewhere you will be see like uh, next maintenance and what is going on based on your you know org or trailblazer or profile you can logged in using your trailblazer or trailhead profile so this is the new feature you can leverage and you can use it okay let's see the next feature is like no more connected app replaced by new external client app the future of the integration so in the screenshot, you can see like new external client app. Previously, it was like as a connected app. Right now, you can see the new external client app. And you can see this one. So you have to create your external app. So let's see in the action. Just click on the setup. Under the setup, just search here like app manager. Just click on this app manager. Under here in the app manager, immediately you will be see the option like new external client app. Once you click on it, now you will be see the, uh, here you can see the status or, you know, every basic information regarding the connected app. You can enter your connected app name, API name, contact name, and you can enable the auth, 
just click on it callback url and the scopes both scopes and which type of devices flow you want to add it and also you can see the saml setting you can enable the saml post notification everything you can see here so this is the future of the you know correct kid app so you have to use it this is another new feature let's see the next feature is like find the consumer key and consumer secret for the external client application here you easily understand let's say i want to click on this app or let me add the app name message demo dot gmail dot com something like that let me click on create also because we already enable the you know enable the all so we have to provide the callback url like https colon slash slash a local host something like that click on and let's say full scope i can give any scope as you want for the demo purpose let's say full scope just click on the create and once you click on the create button now you can see how our connect data is created successfully in this setting option in the setting option you can see this auth setting and here you can find out your you know consumer key and consumer secret once you click on it it's open the new page and it's you will be see the you know consumer key and consumer secret in the new way okay so this is the new feature also you can leverage this whenever you want let's see the next feature is like new way to login into your salesforce or okay so this is a new way to login into your salesforce or. so it only applicable in the you know production as well so as of now it is applicable only the production environment in the sandbox it will not rework okay so let's see in the action just on the login.salesforce.com immediately you can see the new experience here okay like the new experience is here login in with your email addresses and here you can see login with email addresses just click on this one enter your email id and based on this email id how many orgs have you connected on that particular email id so all the org will be listed here as a you know gui graphical user interface and you can see each and every org based on this email id so that is the new feature you can log in or you can leverage this feature okay let's see the next feature is like manage tab in permission set view okay so once you clicked on the permission set and under the permission set we have one button that is view summary once you clicked on this view summary you will be see these options right and this is the new feature like tabs so based on the permission set setting and based on the all the you know configuration we can easily identify the tabs permission based on the permission set okay so let's see in the action previously it was not applicable or it was not available directly like tab setting in the view summary but right now you will be see this feature so now in the org just let me click on the setup and let me create one you know permission set let's say permission set okay click on this permission set and i need to create new permission set so just click on this new and here let's say Rohit PS click on the same so this is the permission set to create the one custom object and in this custom object let's say demo and demos right just click on the save button or let me launch a new wizard with the custom because I need to add the you know tab in the permission set so we have to create this you know tab yeah so just let me select randomly any styles of this tab click on the save these all profiles i will click on the next and here these all application click on the save and now our you know tab is created successfully here now we have to do one thing under here just open the permission set in the permission set right we have permission set recently we have created let's say uh, rohit ps so let's see this is the permission set earlier we already created so in permission set just click on the manage assignment because i need to assign this permission set the current logged in user so i can assign like myself so this is my name here click on the next and assign okay once you assign it now you have to do one thing just click on your permission set view summary under this view summary now you can see the new option like tab right like tab tab option 
so we don't have any tab permission for this you know permission set so that's why you cannot see any item let me do that one thing in the permission set just click on the permission set okay and we have the permissions are like rohit this one click on the rohit and here we have like object setting let me assign that uh, tab to this permission set and our object name is a demo so you can select the demo here and now we can see here this is our demo and here let me edit it and assign the tab for this permission set and after that we will see the summary how many tabs assigned for this permission set just click on the summary click on the tab now immediately you can see this permission set have this tab setting so you can easily find out this you know setting immediately so no need worry about like how we can check the you know tab setting and uh, tab permissions that particular object so just directly you can come to this permission set and click on the tab setting or this tab options tab and now immediately you can see this you know next feature is and this is a like editable object permission now available in the view summary of the permission set so now let's see in the action so i already created this permission set so just let me click on the object permission so here you can see the object permission right so we don't have any object permission for this you know permission set so we have to assign something just click on the object click on the edit right and here we have custom object right like demo you can search it like demo here you can see that demo and immediately you can say inline editing i want to give the read axis like a create axis these all current operations right edit axis so you can apply like this read axis inline editing functionality save it and immediately you can see object permission apply for this object like uh, this object can cre can create the record read the record edit the record delete the record right and you can once you clicked on this edit immediately you can revoke the action as well let's say let me search like demo and you can revoke with the help of this pencil icon you can edit this object permissions so this is the also a new feature you can leverage very good feature i like it you can also enjoy this you know feature or you can like this feature as well so let's see the next feature is editable fill permission now available in view summary of the permission set same thing we can see this now let's see in the action so i have already created this permission center on Android ps just click on the fill permissions and under the fill permission we don't have any fill permission right now and click on the edit and we can provide the fill fill permissions like a account number i want to give the read axis okay account number is assigned you know read only access you can see you can edit it and you can assign on other permissions for the fields like uh, sla you can give the read access for this sla field like click this one click on the save now you can see another field fls is applied for this object and this uh, permission set so this is a very handy feature like edit button also be available based on the permission set on the fields and the object as well okay so this is also a new feature let's see the next feature is like inline validation icon now appear in the inside the field so let's see in the action so here you can see this one like account let me create a new record of this account so just click on the new button and here you can see account name field is a required as you know very well so let me click on the same directly and now immediately you can see a small icon is appear here like it means the required field you have to complete this field first before saving right so this is also a new feature you can see in line you know icon uh, validations you can easily identify oh this is the field is required then you have to provide the value otherwise you cannot save this record so guys i think i have already covered lots of feature if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side and also please do let me know in the comment section which feature do you like mostly so please mention your answer in the comment section so i will see your comments and your feedback then definitely 
I will post more videos regarding the Summer 25 or new feature regarding this Salesforce LWZN development. So please stay tuned. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. See ya. Thank you for watching, guys.